Good evening. Police have described him as the godfather of Birmingham's notorious burger bar gang. Nosakiri Stevenson thought he was untouchable, but tonight he's beginning a 16 and a half year jail sentence. Giles Latcham has been following a dramatic day in court where 18 dangerous gang members faced decades in jail. It seems their leader was someone the police have been after for some time, Giles. Well, that's right. Nossa Stevenson, as he's known, age 41, from Handsworth, for a long time associated with the infamous Burger Bar gang, who for years fought a protracted, bloody feud with the rival Johnson crew. And despite a spate of shootings and killings on the streets of Birmingham, he came to be seen, as you've heard, as untouchable. Until today, when he was jailed by a judge who called him the go-to man for gangs seeking to get hold of firearms. Among the guns Stevenson's network supplied, a lethal MAC-10 machine pistol found last August in a back garden in Aston, along with a sawn-off pump-action shotgun. And he is the head of the crime group uh, and admits to being the head of this crime group that was supplying firearms not only within the Birmingham area, but also to gangs who travelled into Birmingham to source weapons from him. Stevenson's right-hand man was Sundish Nazran, age 32, also from Handsworth. He was jailed for 13 years. He helped source antique firearms and had ammunition specially made for them, then sold them on for £3,000 apiece. Mobile phone evidence and long-term surveillance linked Stevenson and Nazran to others, sellers and buyers of firearms which, had they reached the streets of the West Midlands, might well have been used in crimes. This hall as scary as it now looks, is a significant step forward for Birmingham. And the jailing of these people now will prevent their involvement in any further gun crime. So far, six of the gang have been given sentences totalling more than 66 years. Twelve more due to be sentenced tomorrow, Nick. Giles, thank you. Well, our special correspondent, Peter Wilson, has been looking at the significance of this case and the notorious Mac-10 gun. The MAC-10 is a fearsome weapon, capable of firing 600 rounds a minute. It's the glamour weapon of choice for gangsters, and Birmingham has often paid the price. In 2003, the murders of two girls became the symbol of Britain's gun crime problem. Charlene Ellis and her friend Letitia Shakespeare were innocent drive-by victims killed by a MAC-10. Letitia's mother, Marcia, is horrified that such weapons are still being used. It's a lethal weapon and I can't understand why we still got these weapons on the streets. A MAC-10 is so severe. I saw bullet holes in Letitia, which I couldn't believe a gun could do so much damage. Nossa Stevenson is allegedly a central figure in the Burger Bar gang. He was once shot himself in 2002. He was later convicted of the murder of a member of the Johnson gang, Ashai Walker. But that sentence was later overturned by the Court of Appeal. Today, he was jailed for selling weapons, including this MAC-10. On the streets, the MAC-10 is known as Spray and Pray, a heavy machine gun in untrained criminal hands. It can only bring about mayhem and death. I'm quite surprised after 12 years that we've still got people choosing to carry guns, use guns as well as provide guns. A dozen years ago Birmingham was averaging six shootings a day. Nothing like that today. For the whole of the West Midlands there have been 357 firearms incidents this year. Gun murders have fallen dramatically. Last year, no one was killed, but there were 17 shootings. In the last six months, police admit that there's been a spike in violence, with one murder involving a firearm and 18 attempted murders. I met a former rapper known as Witness, whose work has helped prevent youngsters from becoming gangsters. But he says the funding for many similar projects has simply vanished. You need to educate them about all of that stuff, not just about terrorism, but about the knife, about the guns, about joining gangs. We need to do that and we need to do it very quickly. These guns, all seized by the police, were about to be used on the streets. Detectives say each gun represents a life saved. Peter Wilson for BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. A mother from Worcester.